All right, so this game is called Unlocked, A Phone's Journey. Now, I did do a couple live streams where I was playing this game. So what we have gone through is the messages here. We've learned that Maria is the mom. So let me run you through the chat real quick because some people couldn't see it. Pause to read if you'd like. I did read 95% of this. And this man does bring up some very good points. But. And what you hear in the background is my sister. So. I did get tired halfway through this tired of reading anyway and I stopped but I did finish reading the rest of it off camera because what I really wanted to do was figure out what was going on so I skimmed through I did read a good chunk of this on stream and then he talks about meeting a beautiful girl named Alessia which I haven't read yet Um, I don't know. So, they find a phone, blah, 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 I think it's what that one said. So, what it said? No, blah, blah, blah. no, his phone fell out of his hand. He did end up finding this phone, and then this one was next to us while we were at a pub, I think. Maybe wrong. Prepare to pause and read. And then the ending, like, he hasn't replied back or anything. We've read Victor, Michael, Reggie here. His mom has dementia. We read that one on stream. All right. So with this one, I'll read this one to you guys. It says, hey, Herman, it's Joan. Jonas. I want to call him Jonah. I don't know why. Guess who's got a phone? Jonas. Jonas. Hmm. Come on, man. It's me, Jonas. Of course I know who it is. I'm just joking. You've never been really good at joking or telling a, a, telling when you're joking. You think you've, you would have learned by now. I guess so. Long time no talk. I'm surprised you remember my number. I always keep my closest friend's numbers handy. You never know when you need it. Oh boy, how much do you need this time? <laughs> Very funny. I'm clean and sober. Debt free. I've heard that before. I swear. Look at this picture of my cat. Jonas, did you see that cat? My cat. Jonas, did you see it? Hey, sorry. I was, I've been busy. What's up? The cat. Did you see it? What cat? The picture I sent you. I sent you a picture of my cat. I don't think you did. These phone companies are trying to steal my pictures from my messages. I'm confident that's not what's happening. What do you know? Herman, I'm joking. I see the cat. You can see Mr. Sniffles? I can see Mr. Sniffles. I must make some apology calls. I've heard about your mom. Sorry. What are you talking about? Your mom? Has no one told you? No. What? You should probably ask her. Thanks for the heads up. No problem, buddy. I have one more question. Please ask away. When did your English get so good? What are you talking about? Your English, it's it's great. It's a compliment. I'm texting in Chinese. The phones are possessed, I swear. Yeah, some phones. It doesn't matter what you're texting in. Like, you could be texting in Chinese or Japanese or German. And... It would be English for someone else. Like, your phone sometimes naturally translates it. If you have, like, a translator on it. So, this one's Alessia. It's the girl he met. So, that was without a doubt the best night of my entire life. I really hope the phone number you gave me when I dropped off is the right one. Or, I'll probably walk out into traffic. Also, I'm still a little tipsy. I blame you for that. Of course it's the right number, silly. Well, 
I'm glad we can agree on that. Are you calling yourself cute? Absolutely, I'm adorable. All right, all right, mister. It's too late for flirting. Good night. And then good night, Alessia. Good night, Jonas. Even though she already said good night. Good morning. What are you doing today? Well, good morning to you, too. Not all of us are on shore leave from a half-sunken cargo ship. I have to work. I do remember ranting about the boat last night, but I'm sad to say I don't remember much of about you. You were not that drunk. That's not fair. I didn't have a big dinner. Since you... When... <laughs> I can't read... Since when was two bowls of tortellini and a half a loaf of bread not big dinner? That's fair. Fine. I do a lot. To, I had a lot to drink. I find do a lot. Yeah. Can't talk. The truth shall set you free. Anyways, I'm a waitress. That's a great job. Free food and someone that looks like you must get tipped a bun. Ton. I've done that before. Autocorrect. <laughs> Smooth. So, when can I see you again? Who says I want to see you again? That dumb smile on your face right now? What smile? Oh, don't lie to me. I know you're smiling right now because I am too. Oh, fine. Maybe I am. What's it to you? Whoa. Whoa there. Don't get angry. When can I see you? Hmm. I suppose I could let you take me out to coffee after work. If you promise you aren't a serial killer that goes port to port and kills local waitresses. Nice. I can't possibly be a serial killer that goes from port to port and kills local waitresses. Oh yeah? Why not? I just found out. I don't think that makes me feel any better. Eh, sounds good. I'll meet you at the bench. Th what time? Oh, I didn't mean to move that. I get off at 4, so meet me at 5. I'll be there. Uh, good morning. Hey, I meant to text you. I'm sorry. I had to split this morning before you woke up. I had to check in on the sh at the ship, or I could lose a paycheck. Oh, no, don't worry about it. It's okay. I had an incredible night last night. As did I, Jonas. I haven't laughed that hard in years. What can I say? I'm probably the funniest and most humblest man alive. Oh, boy. Don't judge me. Did you make me a pot of coffee? Check the oven. <gasps> Pancakes! <laughs> Breakfast is incredibly important. Always remember that. I could kiss you right now. Pom pom, no. I'll be back in two hours. But I'll take you up on that. Better have fun. I'll be cleaning the mess you left me in the sink. You win some, you lose some. I'm on my way over. I guess I should probably finish cleaning the kitchen then, huh? Don't sweat it. I don't mind. Boys, you would say that. All right, I'm here. Come open the door. Your neighbor is looking at me weird. Another amazing night. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. I actually already miss you. Oh, it's a shame that we have to work. Why can't we just be lazy on the beach all day? I didn't realize there was another part to that sentence. If only, my dear. I'm going out to dinner with a couple of guys from the ship if you want to tag along. Oh, like a real date where all friends can see me. Scary, right? I don't think you'd care to take this serious since you'll be back on the ship soon. If this is meant to end soon, I guess we'll have to make it the best. Make the best of it. I suppose it's a good idea. I just... I just don't get my hopes up too far. I don't need another broken heart. No broken hearts here. I'll pick you up at five. Deal? Deal. Are you guys already drunk? You're sitting right next to me and texting me. <laughs> I'm scared and nervous. Don't mind Stervos. He, miss <laughs> he misses his old lady back in America. He can't help himself. He seems harmless. harmless. Okay, now if only someone would ask me to go dancing. Seems like a hint. A hint I should probably take. Hey, thinking about what you said last night, I disagree. Long-distance relationships can work if two people want it to. Are you trying to tell me something? No. I want to see you tonight. I have an idea. Okay, I'll be free after 7. I'll see you at the apartment. I'll, I'll see you then meet you at the apartment. Your apartment. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't English today. 
I'm sorry, but I have to cancel tonight for now. I'll fill you in later, I promise. All right, so are you going to explain yourself? I really wanted to do this in person, but okay. Just trust me when I say it's all over, but I owe some people some money, and it's either pay up or sleep with the fishes, if you know what I mean. You seem to be so nonchalant about the whole thing. It's not my first time being in this position. So what happened? I got there and someone had already paid my debt for me. That sounds weird. Do you have any idea who it might be? I don't even know anyone that has that kind of money and knows that I'm in debt. And who likes me enough to help me anonymously? Okay, well, when can I see you? We can talk more about that in person. Can I come right now? Deal. Um, and then there's some stuff. We read this one, and this is where you figure out the password and the username to the doc fort, which I've already unlocked. I haven't read any of these. Um, just so we see in this corner, the battery status, I bought unlimited battery for like 24 hours so I could try to get through this game. Because I want to finish it. It does make you wait four hours almost if you don't want to pay for it. But I don't have that kind of patience. So this is like a personal journal. Um, I'm going to read them in order. We're going to start with number one. I'm not sure how many entries um, I'm going to... Blah. I'm not sure how many entries I'm going to be able to make in here. I figure if something happens to me, that someone can give this to my brother or my mom. Maybe help them get a little closure. Tell them things I was too afraid to say out loud. It's pretty neat having a phone. Never really wanted one. Spending years on ships, you never really had the need for one. Now, it's interesting. It... It's interesting to see the world from a different perspective. It's pretty neat getting to say hello to someone from the other side of the world. I got into a pretty bad mix-up on my last ship and wound up on the run again. I'm so tired of always running and keeping one eye open when I sleep. I suppose I probably shouldn't have done things I've done then, right? I've had nothing but bad luck my entire life, it seems. My father hates me. I'm the reason my brother died, and my family is completely broken. I stopped the drinking, but couldn't stop the gambling. So I owe more money than I had in the first place. But, out of nowhere, I got on the ship and found this phone in my coat pocket. Obviously, someone needed to unload it. I honestly don't know why. There's a lot of things on this phone that I don't understand. But unlike the cheap ones I bought in the past, this one actually works like... Everywhere I go. I couldn't even tell you how the bills get paid. Maybe it's some rich kid's phone and their parents f pay for it. Who knows? I, I still don't get why I got it, but I shouldn't complain. Anyway, we are on our way to Shanghai now, which means I get to see an old friend, which is either good or bad. I can honestly barely remember the last time I saw him. He had to bail me out of some... Messy situations. Isn't that why I started journaling in the first place? I have to talk about these things before they eat me alive. Anyway, there's an app called Texty, and it's got a password on it, but I'm not really sure why. But the weirdest thing happened. Some old search history on the phone's browser was astrological signs, a.k.a. zodiac signs for anyone who doesn't know. Specifically, about a birthday in early February. Obviously, I tried Aquarius and got it right. I guess whoever had this before me enjoyed astrology. I'll end this entry with that. Goodbye, me. Aquarius. Oh my gosh. I had a notebook because I was writing things down. But, you know, let's go into Texty and actually put Aquarius in because I've been looking for that. Don't tell me I spelled it wrong. Welcome. Wow. I was gonna read it. Okay, wait. Oh, my actual phone screen. Wrong button. I will be right back if I can pause this. 
I hit the wrong button. There are like these buttons down at the bottom that like this. This. And this back button. Like, I keep trying to hit my phones thinking it's going to work. And I keep forgetting that exits me out of the game. Um, so texty. Alaya. Okay. So we'll read Elias first and then we'll go to Cecile's. Elias, well, it's me. I'm safe. Are you okay? How do I n know it's you? I know you're hiding this phone under your bed. Who else would have your number memorized? Bet. You ain't wrong. We thought you died. The headmistress went out... Blah, 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 blah. Went out of her head when you were gone in the morning. When I had to get out, I couldn't take another hit. You... You need to leave. I promise. Head Missy real sus since you left last week. So it's too soon for me to try. Don't worry, Leah. I don't know who that is. But don't wait any longer. Maybe I can help. You don't need to risk coming back. House, sweep down hall, text later. Love you so much. You still alive? Yeah. So cold at night. How did you get the phone anyway? You steal it? An acrobat handed it to me the other night. He said he already had a phone and felt I needed it. Whoa. Weird. He gave me bread and cheese to eat and a blanket to keep. Even let me sleep in the circus tent for a night. He was really nice to me. We've been texting since then. When are you trying to get out? I don't know what that one is, but I'm not going to read it. Read the name. We are going to try in a few days. Good. Follow me. Can I click it? I can't. You would get a face veil while houseless. Okay. Okay. So, hello, it's Cecile from the circus the other night. Yeah, the very same. How are you faring? Hi, I'm fine. Thanks for the phone. It's nice to have someone to pass the time in the day. I'm glad. I felt as though you needed a pick-me-up. I wish I could offer you more. This is more than enough. No cap. It's more than anyone's ever done for me. My text speech is very particular. Did you say no cap? Yeah, it means no lie. It, it's hard to text like this. Well, blind? I suppose not. But is he blind? That, 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 I don't know. But talking on the phone is far easier. Avi, you're an acrobat that's in a traveling circus, aren't you? You don't live in Panama. Sorry, we don't have to keep talking. It's just lonely out here. I could use I could use the company too. I often find myself alone as well. Not many people understand me. Per your previous question, I am a master Eloquilibrist. I specialize in rope walking. I joined the traveling band, I don't know, ten years ago. That's a cool vibe. Have you done that your whole life? Yeah. Um, it's all I've ever known. When I was young, I attended a prestigious English boarding school, but despite my intelligence, I wasn't accepted by the other children. I eventually moved to India, where I spent a long time trying to learn to accept myself. I'm a loser, too. No one ever likes the orphan girl. Not a loser. Gabriella. Being different doesn't make us less or wrong. So this isn't the same person. If anything, it makes us unique, which is a thing we should cherish. I don't know if I even like myself, you know? Maybe I should try India. We spend more time with ourselves than anybody else. Tell three things you like about yourself. Three? Yeah. You're, you're more than you give yourself credit for. I don't know. Sorry. I think I lied. I, li I lied. I liked myself before my parents were gone. I'm sorry, you lost your parents. How may I ask? A boat accident. 
Woke up in the hospital days later, they were dead. That is sad. Then they put me in an orphanage. That was okay for a while because the headmaster was very nice. He gave us three meals a day and let us watch Netflix and made us popcorn. But it got shut down and I had to go to an old dirty one. The people were okay, but the sheets smelled like mold. I don't know what happened, but they split us up and moved me to the one I was just at. And you dislike the one less one enough to run away? Had Missy hit us for when we were too loud and didn't do chores well enough. I'm sorry, that's no life that... That's a life no one should suffer, and I wish I could do more for you. No worries. It's not your problem. I like chatting with you, though. As do I. I need to go prep for the next show, but please don't be afraid to text me. Bet. I like that I'm brave. I'm the only one who was brave enough to leave the orphanage. Bravery is a vital trait. What else? Nah. You first. Tell me one. Something I like about myself, my acrobatic abilities... <laughs> bring me joy. I feel like a cheat, but I'll take it. That feels like a cheat, but I'll take it. I like that I'm tall for a girl. I didn't used to, but since you said that thinking about being unique, I've been thinking. It's not so bad to reach more and have long legs for running. There you go. I will counter you then say it that I am glad to be short for a gentleman. It helps me balance ropes on the ropes. No fair, you literally just stole mine. All right, how about this? I like that I am hopeful despite my loneliness and I have hoped for a true friend for a long time and I'm beginning to think fate has gave you to me you. That's nice. Let me think of another one. I'll be waiting. Okay. I like that I'm nice even though I... Don't have much. I found a baker who gave me leftover bread and shared my loaf with a stray dog that's hanging around me. Generosity. That's an exceptional trait where people would benefit from. I'm grateful for the baker. I was worried, worrying you weren't eating enough. I'm better than I was at the orphanage. No cap. No cap. I started a face fail account with the phone and the day went by way faster. I should follow. You have a face fill? I'm shook. I don't use it anymore, as you'll see. Yeah, you got no post. Can I ask you something? Of course. You said earlier that no one understands you. Is it because you're blind? I hope that's okay to ask. It's very okay to ask. Okay, so Cecile is blind. I don't think it's because I'm blind, although being blind is not without its struggles. But it's a result of my impairment. Hmm. I don't I don't think I understand. I guess that was a tad coded. Let me explain. When I was young, I was ridiculed for having no sight. I was clumsy, had to walk with a white cane. That's the stick we walk with to avoid obstacles in our path. Anyway, the other kids would knock it out of my hands and sometimes place small objects in front of me so I would fall and step on them. Because of all this, I turned inward and became very closed off. I was angry for a long period of time and fled England to for India. As I told you, I isolated myself until I returned to England to join the traveling circus. Still, I am quieter than the rest of my traveling company and no one understands why. And I don't open up to them. I apologize for how long-winded that was. No problem. I don't mind hearing your story. I'm sorry about all the hate you got. But you traveled to very cool places. And you turned out amazing in spite of all the stuff. You're pretty pretty interesting for an old dude. Ah, uh, yes. I like to think age has given me an exciting stories. But do you have any kids, Cecile? No. I always wanted kids, but... The traveling life isn't suitable for raising kids. Perhaps that's an excuse for my fear of letting people in. Thanks for giving me a chance to talk. Oh, thanks for giving me a chance. Basically, my favorite person to talk to, you, reminds me of my dad sometimes. I am touched that I remind you of someone so important. It means the world that you've taken the time to get to know me. 
I think your parents would be very proud of your empathy and bravery. Today's the anniversary of the, their death. I hope that's not too weird to say. Give me two minutes and I'll call you. Thank you. Gabrielle, I was thinking, despite the circumstances of the call, I greatly enjoyed talking to you. Might we chat weekly? It, if that's not too much to ask. I felt responsible for your well-being since I passed the phone on to you. I want to make sure you're doing all right. Literally have nothing to do but hunt for food. What I mean is you can call me daily if that's not too much. Daily would be splendid. Okay. No, I'm still going to text you all day, though. And message on social media? I don't know how Gen Z kept their messages straight. But welcome to the 21st century, Cecile. I don't know if there's anything in there other than face fail. But you need a username and a password. And then you need a password for this one, too. And for the diary. So I wonder if... We can go into here and go into the next journal entry if there will be something. I feel bad that Bobby sold me out. I couldn't be sure. I have a feeling. Okay. Get this. The ship pulls onto the port in Shanghai. I'm running around trying to find an old friend of mine. When one of Caesar's goons grabbed me by the arm and shoved me into the van. I only guess it's Bobby because he's the last person I told about my coming here, aside from Michael. But I can't see my brother selling me out to the sh to a shark that he doesn't even know about. Anyway, he drags me into the van and we drive to a restaurant where I get escorted to the back room. And wouldn't you know it, Caesar himself is there. Maybe I've been avoiding him. Wouldn't you avoid someone you owe $20,000? Well, before things got out of control, I convinced him that at the end of my world tour on the cargo ship, I would have more than enough to pay him back with interest. I definitely won't have the money, but it gives gets him off my back for at least a few months. It started back when I ran away from home. I made it, made it to Wales after a while and found myself working on a small fishing vessel and making enough to cover the alcohol I was drinking too much of. I ate almost nothing but free fish in the summer. I lived in an abandoned cabin not far from the shore. It was cozy. I remember getting together with some guys around town and starting a weekly poker game. That turned into a daily game, which turned into having to leave town again. So I was off. Somehow I wound up in Amsterdam, which in hindsight was probably a bad place to go, but it was there that I met a man named Victor, who was a deckhand on a cruise ship from Los Angeles to the Netherlands. I'm not over-exaggerating when I say he saved my life. I was drunken at the end of a bad bet on a football match. I had lost more than I, I had lost more than I could lose, and I knew right then, and there, that I was going to have to start running again. As soon as the game ended. The bookie was pretty hot on my rear, and I needed to make a break for it. Earlier that night, I was introduced to Victor by a local friend I'd made. He and I bonded over the loss of my brother and sister when we were younger. It was pretty interesting to find someone who understood what I was really running from. When I told him that I was in deep trouble, in my defense, I was betting on a sure thing. The ref was bought and paid for. He got onto the different ship that night and set sail to Germany, which, of course, I got myself out of as well. That's where I found the guys who would eventually take me to Panama and started working to find the most amazing ship I've ever seen. It's humongous. Not looking forward to much, but I'm not sure I'm ready to go talk to talk about Germany yet. I'll stop... I'll stop things here for today. Till next time, and then there's a third one. I talked to my mom today, but which was hard, but necessary. Honestly, I haven't talked to her since I left Wales. She was surprisingly relaxed for someone who hasn't seen their kid for such a long time. She asked if I hated her or my father. I wasn't sure what to say. Honestly, I don't hate her. I'm not even sure I hate him. She really thought that I should be the one to apologize and contact them, practically abandoning me after my brother died. When we 
We were known around town as the troublemakers. We shoplifted, vandalized, and smoked and drank at the park. Well, Michael and I did. George, our younger brother, was too smart for that kind of stuff. One day, we took him camping out at Brock Hill. Just wanted to get away for a while so Dad wouldn't take his drunken anger out on us. He owned a bar and took... We took... La la la. He owned a bar and took full advantage of it, nightly. We were swimming in the streams, messing around Avon Dam, and George just collapsed. We tried to wake him, but we didn't know what we were doing. All we could do was carry him to the farm a couple miles south and hope someone was home. We got George to a hospital alive, but he never woke up. Apparently, he had an undiagnosed heart condition called dilated cardiome. My off, myopathy. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. <sighs> Which causes the heart to fail unexpectedly. At first glance, it wouldn't make much sense for me to blame myself until the doctor said that George maybe could have made it if we'd helped him quicker. That's the line that shattered the family. That that's so rude. Nothing was ever the same again. For us, Dad was drunker and even more angrier than before. Mom was basically paralyzed in bed for months on end. Everyone was fine one minute, and the next thing you know, she was crying in a corner. My older brother, Michael, was lucky enough to be a football star, so Dad loved him regardless. I never held that against him. He was my best friend. I just wish I could not catch a ball. I ran away instead of dealing with my problems, which would become the story of my life you won't catch me in the same place more than a couple weeks at this point it's a safety thing i have to remember to touch on that more later but it's time to get scrubbing that shipping gonna clean itself oh my gosh i hit the button again ignore the exercise apps <sighs> i hate this okay back we just read the third one fourth one I met someone yesterday. Her name is Lisa. Alessia. Alessia. I don't know why I said Lisa. And she's something else. Get this. I'm at a bar doing some light drinking. The guys from the ship are playing darts right before the game ends. I get a phone call. It's my mom. But I can't hear her because the bar is too loud. So I ignore the call and I step outside. And there she is. No, wait. I call her back. <laughs> I read the wrong line. The phone signal for the first time ever was cutting out, and I got frustrated, and when I looked up, there she was. Sitting on the bench across the street in the pouring rain, she looked sad and lonely. I couldn't help but go over and ask if she was okay. She told me that she was stood up by a guy on a dating app. Her phone died, and there weren't any taxis in the area at that time of night. My phone had signal again, so I was going to offer her to use it and get one. When one of those spam texts came on, trying to sell me women's underwear, but it said be brave on the notification. So I took it as a strong sign, and I asked her out, believe it or not. Right after she agreed, a taxi came right around the corner. So I stopped it, and we drove off to her place to get her into some dry clothes. And then we went to get drinks, food, and we went dancing at some point. It, it all got pretty blurry. Okay. That's a thing. This entry is going to be a bit of a roller coaster, so I'll take it from the beginning and work it forward the best I can. I've decided that I want to stay in Italy. I think Alessia, oh, Alessia, I want to say Elisa, but the, I don't think that's right, might be the one. If it's ever going to work out, I can't be sailing around the world. Now, here's the problem. I don't know how to sit still for more than a couple weeks at a time. I figure that the first step would be to get a job and stop drinking again. Cold turkey. I'll talk to Alessia about it after I have a real plan and see if she feels the same. Something in my gut tells me she does. I was walking around the fine streets of Livorno. Sorry, I can't pronounce anything. Looking for a job when I realize... When I run into Caesar, who was eating a little at this little seafood restaurant that's on the way to the docks, of course it's a nice enough day that he's eating outside, and he sees me. I thought about running for a second, but 
kind of felt invincible at this point. So here I am thinking about how, think about how to have the worst day of my life. Caesar invited me to sit down at the table with him and have breakfast. I obliged. He told me that initially he planned to come to Italy and collect his money himself. When he checked into a suite at the hotel, he got a text message on his phone from his accountant who had told him that the debt has been paid in full. Now, let's get one thing straight. I did not pay my balance. How could I? I don't have anything. Anything close to that kind of money. He pays for breakfast and says that he's glad I showed up. He didn't want to have to look for me. He got a short temper. So, I'm glad he didn't have to look either. This is where the rabbit hole gets deeper. I have a theory. Before I boarded the ship in Panama, I was in deep, deep trouble. I was being run out of every shipyard this side of the Atlantic. I owed more than 30000 I was a vagabond with no home, no love, not a thing to my name but the clothes on my back and a few knickknacks. Now, I'm falling in love. I no longer have my largest, most dangerous debt. I'm happy. Back to the rabbit hole. I think the phone has something to do with it. Hear me out. I was reading a news article about a guy who was given a watch by a stranger and the next day he won the lottery. These things happen, is all I'm saying. Now the real question. Who paid my debt? Should I even bother asking at this point? I'm going to make some calls and see if anyone knows. Mm, number six. Well, I can't figure out who paid my debt, but I still have more good news. I've decided that I'm going to absolutely stay in Italy. I left my job on the shipyard and found a job working as a cook in a restaurant by the port. The interview wasn't going great at first, but after he found out I was a sailor, he asked to see pictures of the ship I've been, been on. I pulled out my phone and showed him, and he started to laugh and joke with each other. It almost felt like we were old friends. Even crazier than, than that, though... I was walking home from the restaurant. It was kind of dark, and I tripped on a curb. My phone went flying across the street underneath a closed orange cart. I got down on my stomach to reach for it, and there was a small box sitting in front of the phone. So it must have slid sideways or something. I get the box and the phone. Not only is there not a scratch on the darn thing, inside the box was a gorgeous diamond ring. This has to be a sign, right? Even if it's not, I'm taking it as one. Tomorrow, I'm going to start working on a grand proposal. It's going to be incredible. Well, I'm thinking there's something wrong, with, very wrong with my mom. I talked to an old friend, Reggie, and he told me that she had dementia and that she and my father have known for quite a while, but I'm not sure... What else to say? When I was growing up, my parents used to take me to see my grandparents a lot. We we stopped. They would, wouldn't say anything other than Grandpa's sick, so I just assumed he died. I never knew any better until I grew up and heard from family that my Grandpa was in hospice and my Grandma had passed away two years ago. I wasn't allowed to see my Grandpa because he told the nurses that he didn't know who I was. I just figured he was bitter. I think he was being honest. In other news, the grand proposal is in full effect. It all goes down today. I can't wait to see her reaction. I think she's going to say yes. She has to, right? This is a goodbye note. I'm not sure to who, though. If you've taken the time to work your way to the end of my story... Do you deserve a proper ending? The proposal went off without a hitch. She said yes. It took a little bit of convincing. She agreed. Christmas. She was hesitant at first, but I told her I had already told all my friends and family we were getting married in Italy on Christmas. She couldn't say no. We both hated Christmas growing up in our homes that made every holiday a fight, a struggle, and just miserable. This way, each Christmas we got after we got married, we would have something to celebrate along with everyone else, help us fit in more, I suppose. We sat at the pub, celebrated our engagement, and then after they closed, we found ourselves at the dock. Of course, I kept telling myself I'd stop drinking tomorrow, that this was my last drink. I grew up being both terrified and in love with the water. Its depths are unknown, but it's so beautiful. It can send waves over 450 meters in the air, and it can calmly rock a fishing boat to shore. 
I begged her to get in and swim with me just a few minutes. The water felt amazing. We were both intoxicated. Oh my god, I swear if they drown. Mm. After some desperate groveling, she decided to dive in. When I tell you as soon as the water hit, the water waves get aggressive. We quickly got separated after what felt like a million years. Her head went under and I never saw her again. Oh my god, I hate you. It took a little while for me to consider what really happened. This phone happened. I never understood what violent delights have violent ends mean until now. That's the phone screen. I thought about destroying, destroying this phone, but maybe I could stop something like this from ever happening again. But I can't do that. This phone is the greatest gamble I've ever taken. And it would have been... Oh, hi, pom-pom. She jumped on my bed and scared me. I would take my cards and play them right. I could have won. Who am I to take away from someone else? It would... To be honest, I'm not even sure if I could break this thing if I tried. My hopes are to whoever reads this understands what the phone really is. Sure, your dreams come true, but if you keep this phone, you think you're smarter than it. You That you can squeeze every drop of luck out of it before it passes on. Do what, sh do what I did. I hope you weren't greedy. You might end up with blood on your hands. I've decided... Pom, pom, move. I've decided to send the journal entries to an old friend and sponsor Gerald so my story can be told regardless of what happens. This was really all for you. I was reading this because I don't want to get scared and run away from the phone right away. You deserve to experience what I did. You deserve to make your own mistakes and learn to grow from them. Oh my... No, Pom Pom, stop. That is... No, 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 no. My bunny is trying to eat my card. I'm sorry. Um. The hell? There's nothing after that. Okay, so there's. More than that, these must be the photos he showed the person. But I don't know who this is. Didn't say he had a child or anything. That's the circus. So that must be Cecile. So wait, those weren't his pictures. Ah, oh, damn. I hate everything. Give me a second. I exited out. There's obviously more to this story. Not his story. Like, we just saw the end of that one. Notes. Okay, so I didn't read this one. And, um, there was another one. This one. I didn't read this one because it has some squares in it. Pause to read. Um. This is an actual song. Be nice if it was. Okay, so there has to be a way into here. Can you make any calls yet? <sighs> no, nope. who's Jerry? Okay. You can't call anyone. Can you call his mama? His mummy? Mummy, if you will. No. There's more to this. I there There has to be. There's no... Okay. Wow, you can't download anything else. Answers. Wow, I even I no, I didn't spell it wrong. So I wonder if, like, okay, wait, so the username had to be in here. Lonely Girl Gab.
No. What would the password be? Cecile? No. Okay. I'm going to leave you in there. Do you have... No. Nope. Do you have anything else? Doobadoo. Wait. What if, where's the anniversary? March 9th? I wonder if that might not be it. March with a T, yeah. No, no, I thought it would be. <sighs> Gabriella? Gabriel? 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 Close enough. I'm just gonna mix a bunch of random freaking names here. <sighs> now, there has to be something because the face veil has to belong to Gabby. Can't hold on to anything. Like I'm trying to press and hold, see if I can move something. Alaya. Ah. It's a background story. Oh, we're at a bar. Yep, I was right. Um. What did I just say, Alaya? Mm, my gosh. Orphan. Oh my god. I hate this because I don't know. And like there's nothing else to help me out. And like before I went says go into the settings. Like it's a factory reset. Like. And there. I don't know how to spell Gabrielle. That's all I'm trying to spell is Gabrielle. There is nothing. No, and I think it was this one. Um, what is he? Gabriella. I'm not going to remember how to write that. Is it Aquarius? Damn. D there has to be something here. <sighs> you literally can't download anything else. Nothing that could help me. Well, you suck. Wait, what did you just say? Oh, search for apps and games. Oh, no, let's look up Texty. Can we see? No, I wrote it with... What? Search. No? Fine. So, I have the username for this one. I just don't have a pow powder. I don't have a password. Like, what would it be? Like... If we go to the contacts, because, like, that's just a number. This my friend? No. What is? I think she called in the beginning, but... Michael. No. Oh, Cecile. You here? 
I hate everything. I just gotta figure out where to go from here. There's no swipey swipey nothing. Phone, no recent calls. Should we get a hint? No. No hint. Hmm. I wonder I wonder if that's Gabrielle and her parents. I wonder if this is the end of um Jonas starring Gabrielle and I wonder if the forever loved thing is the password to something. We'll try it here and then we'll try it at the messages. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Messages. So this is where she starts talking to Cecile. You guys can pause to read. I'm just going to skim through it. Ignore my phone telling you it's charging. It's, it's a pain. So everything... An app called Racing Thoughts. See, that's important. Okay. Who's Sarah? Oh, her aunt. This is her trying to prove to her. Who is Senior Mangoes? Oh, Senior Mangoes is a place. Smoothie shop. Yeah, you guys can just read this. I... Okay, no, that's not what I want to do. No vacations. Okay. Do I have to read to all the comments? No, there's no way to. Great. So, there has to be something in these messages. <sighs> the racing thing. I wonder if... Um... Wow, I can't write that to save anyone's life. No! No! Go back. Actually, his name is right there. Wow, my phone's trying to autocorrect and it can't. It's E Q U L I. No. No. It's E Q U I L I. Q U I L I U. I feel that's wrong, but right. No, it's wrong. 
another eye burst. No. Underscore. It's a seal, right? We'll go back and look. Do we do? Underscore a seal. Password is the name of the traveling circus, which we can find here in the photos at the end. Fantasia's Jubilee. No. I can't fit hmm I can't write and look and write it's like Fanta Fanta <laughs> fantasies because I can't Why would we? still playing a game are you doing a video? Yes. No. I didn't want to watch it. No. Wonder if... Is that the thing my father played? No. Is he working that? No. Stop comparing my games to Markiplier. Sorry. No. What? No! Why Keep comparing my games to Markiplier's. No, I'm not. Yeah, you did. Didn't activate No! I'm nothing playing tomorrow. Great. <laughs> okay, then look at the chore list. No, there's no chore list. She's a liar, there is. No, it does do it. Do it. Mine just says, be careful what you wish for. What? I don't have any idea what she's talking about, so. Okay, fine. Add them aside to bath. I don't care. Dude, I'm recording and I'm posting this and it's full. I don't care. I don't care. Santa. Fantas. IAS. Oh my gosh, wrong one. And then I can't apparently spell Jubilees. Oh my gosh. No, it's not even here. I want to go. It's Jubilees, right? No, Jubilee. Oh my gosh, I hate you. I hate you. Alright, we're going to call this good for now because it's 43 minutes. Uh, I don't even want to do this. I'll, I'll be back.